Jesus gives that great mission to the apostles to go forth, keep all nations, baptizing them in the Father, Son, and Spirit. And through that, he promises that he will be with his people till the end of the age. We celebrate today the great mystery of the Holy Trinity. We as Catholic Christians believe in one God. But as a priest, listen to people try to communicate and talk about this great mystery. It's, it's hard to do. It's very, very hard to do. And we try the best that we can to kind of wrap our head around this great mystery of this God that we believe in. But sometimes we misspeak. And a few people come up to me and say, Yeah, Father, I love coming to church. I love coming to church because we get to worship God and we get to worship Jesus. Now, us as Catholic Christians should say that that's a false statement. Jesus is God. That's what this whole Christianity thing is all about. We believe that God made man walk the face of the earth. Jesus himself, the Christ, is God. But the Father is also God, and the Holy Spirit is also God, all equal in persons, all holy, all in majesty, but we believe in one. Now, who wants to come up here and try to explain that to everybody? <laughs> Again, it's a great mystery as vast as the ocean, as vast as any of the greatest mysteries of our entire lives, and how do we comprehend what this all means? And I think in a very simple way, the Trinity is all about relationship. It's a relationship between the Father, the Son, and the Spirit who have existed before all time. Before the world was created, those three persons, that one God, was there. The begotten Son of God sets into the earth to show us how to live and have experienced all things that each of us have. Sorrow and sadness, all things but sin. And the Father and the Spirit, or the Father and the Son, the outpouring of themselves, giving us the advocate, the Holy Spirit, to be that guide, giving us wisdom and understanding as our guide in our, in our lives. But it's a complete outpouring of Spirit between Father, Son, and Spirit. That's how we learn it in seminary. They have given themselves fully to each other. The Father to the Son, the Son to the Father, the Father and Son to the Spirit. They've given everything except their identity as person, as Father, Son, and Spirit. But it, everything else is a total self-giving to one another. So to understand that in our own human lives and what that really means to us is A, like Jesus said in the Gospel, He sent us the advocate to be with us at all times, and He will never be His people, yes. But it also gives a little guidebook of how to live. That whole, that whole self-giving thing is what we're called to do in very different ways, though, because of our own vocation of what we've been called to. Some of us, well, I guess I'm the only one that was called a priesthood in this room, um, but deacons and but also husband and wives, giving themselves fully to each other. Obviously, they keep their identity as husband and wife, but their whole mission is to give themselves fully to each other in love. And that outpours into the children, that outpours into the community, drawing people closer to the love of God, who gave them that great gift of their vocation. But then we cannot forget the single life. There's a woman that I've known for many, many, many years, and she passed away just a few uh, weeks ago. And she really dedicated her life as a single woman in the church and gave her life as a mission to draw others back who have been away from the church for a long time, giving herself to the rest of her family and extended family in a very unique way because of the vocation that she was called to as a single woman. Trinitarian living is what we're all called to do. But each one of us are called in various ways, and that's what prayer is all about, the importance of meditating on what is God calling us to do, of giving ourselves fully and not holding back. We remain who we are with our personalities and our various gifts, but we're called to give them all away, putting them in the trust of our Lord, our God, Father, Son, and Spirit.